Okay, it's time to print our bird. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get four pieces of paper about this size. You're gonna write your name and class code on all of them. And you're gonna write which number they are in just a minute. So name and class code, whatever your class code is. And write your name, not the word name. Don't write my name. Um, and then you're gonna write number one, two, three, four, and label which ones you're gonna do. So we're gonna do the number one first, two, then three, then four. And these are your papers that you're gonna print on. So I'm gonna push those off to the side for a minute and talk about printing. When we print, we're gonna add ink to this surface, not paint, ink is a little bit thicker than paint. It's like toothpaste, it's a little bit thicker. We're gonna add ink to this plate is what we call it. And um, we're going to make a copy of it on the blank piece of paper. So your teacher will give you a little roll of paint in this styrofoam tray. Then, or ink, I'm sorry, not paint. And then you're gonna take your brayer. This looks like a roller that your, your parents might use for painting at home. Um, but this is called a brayer. And we're going to just tap and then roll and tap and then roll. We don't wanna just roll back and forth like this. Otherwise it doesn't fill the entire brayer. Um, so we wanna tap and then roll and keep all that ink in this tray, tap and roll. And you can kind of hear that stickiness of that ink. Um, and you wanna go and just kind of get this whole tray filled up so you get the entire brayer filled with ink. Then you're gonna take it to the plate um, and this is where you're gonna see it. It's gonna roll on and hopefully if you've pressed down nice and hard, the little valleys where you've pressed with your um, pencil are not gonna get filled with ink, which is good. We're just applying this ink. And it might get on the paper behind you, so be careful that we're trying to keep it clean. And we roll it on like that. Always when you put your brayer down, don't put it brayer, the roller side down, otherwise you'll make a huge mess on your table. Flip it over on this flat end so it doesn't roll around and we keep it clean. And we're gonna go back to our plate here. I'm gonna pick up the number one, blank on this side. I wanna see my name and number one, and I'm gonna put it right on top of the plate here, and then just tap it with my hands and massage it a little bit, rub the paper here. You wanna make sure that the paper doesn't shift around on you um, and you're not rubbing too hard or aggressively so that it, it shifts and it doesn't have a good print. But you wanna rub to all the corners of the plate, feel it beneath you, feel the bird underneath your fingers and just kind of rub that plate. And now we're gonna pull this off and see what the print looks like. I'm kind of peeking here. There might be a little bit of gray there, but that's okay, we're gonna pull it off. And you'll notice it's a flipped mirror image. It's a backward, backwards image of what you printed. And this is your first in the series. In order to do another one, you pick up your brayer, push your plate, your plate off your, ink plate off to the side and go and roll it in your ink in your tray again reapply some more cover it try not to get to the ink looks like it's filling in those valleys um, but you'd be surprised that it doesn't so much when you start to rub your other paper on flip the brayer over go to number two so that you can see the number you're I'm gonna print on the blank side, see the number and your name going up. Again, place it down carefully so it doesn't shift and then start to massage it with your hands. All right, now the last one had some gray areas. You see that kind of like ghost areas here? In order to make sure that we're getting a good print, you may have to rub it just a little bit longer with your fingers, do some circling, do some massaging like that and really nice and rub it to get all of that plate covered and really get it stuck to the paper and the ink in between. So after I've massaged it pretty well, again, I'm trying not to shift the paper like this in the plate because otherwise it'll be off and it'll be crooked underneath it. So I'm kind of holding it down with one hand or I'm rubbing it with the other, taking turns as I go. And if I peel this one back, See how this one looks. Same thing. If you see little spots like that, it might mean that there are little 
um, fuzzes or dirt specks in your in your plate. Um, that's pretty normal. You can kind of wipe those off if you need to with your finger and then reapply. But you're gonna do that for one, two, three, and four. And you're gonna pick your best one later to add more to um, as we go on. So happy printing.